It is a call to staff up police in Portland. Today, the police chief unveiling a new initiative to increase police personnel to more than 1,000 people. Thanks for being here tonight. I'm Todd Unger, in for Jeff. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Thanks for being with us. This announcement follows years of chronic understaffing within the Bureau. Digging deeper into this plan tonight, Joel Jones is live. And Joel, I understand you got to speak with the chief about this. Yeah, that's right, Liz. Chief Day says that the city's relationship with police has improved in the two years since his predecessor, Chief Lavelle, unsuccessfully called for a similar staffing increase. Still, he says the current situation is not a sustainable way for the Bureau to do business. We have to have more people because the demand and the expectation appropriately so is far greater than what we currently have. Portland Police Chief Bob Day announcing a goal to increase police staff by more than 240 members within the next few years, a level not seen since 2005. I'm initiating this not because of crime. I'm initiating this because people want a relationship with their police department. Despite police statistics revealing a recent drop in violent crime and attrition rates, Chief Day says understaffing has caused the Bureau's overtime budget to balloon, adding strain on officers and the community. Citing data from the U.S. Census, FBI, PSU, and other agencies, a new report by the Bureau shows Portland police have the lowest number of sworn members per 1,000 residents when compared to similar cities like Seattle and Denver. We're running well below the minimum number that is established to try and provide this patrol level of service. We see that bore out in high um, length of wait, wait times to uh, be able to get to calls. We see that in the inability to do the follow-up on investigations. We do see that in burnout with our officers. As of October 2nd, Portland police say they have 795 total members, well below their authorized staffing. Of those, the Bureau currently has 543 officers, 62 short from the authorized level. But as police data shows, the Bureau has lost more people in the last 12 months than they've hired. Chief Day says they are relying on a new rehire program to retain officers, outreach to increase applicants, and sustain city funding. What I'm asking, and I know it's a big ask, is that we have to continue to fund the police bureau at a high level. At the same time, we have to fund the police bureau additionally to get more people on board. And Chief Day says he does plan to discuss these staffing uh, plans as well as the budget needs with the brand new city council. So, of course, we will continue to track this very closely. Live outside Central Precinct tonight, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News. All right, Joelle, thanks so much.